Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the 12th episode of Python's Realm. I want to once again thank you guys for the amount of support you showed in the previous episode, reaching well over 1300 likes. And don't forget guys, if you do still enjoy the series and want to keep seeing more, do be sure to drop a like button, it'll be much appreciated. Now, today, we appear to be starting up in a blood moon, but also the end of a blood moon, so... I guess that's kind of cool. Hello, peeps. How you doing? Oh, there we go. It's just become daytime as well. Fan dabby dozy. All right. So let's see what's going on. Uh, right. Okay. Wait. What the heck? What? <laughs> There's a money chop on the floor. My NPCs must have killed one of the mobs and it dropped a money chop. What the heck? That's so cool. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, man. I can't believe that. We got ourselves a, we got ourselves a money chop. I'm really, really happy about that. I'm really, really happy about that. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, oh, I might just go ahead and... Uh, I've got a spare piggy bank, essentially. I might go ahead and just put this in a furniture chest or something. Uh, do we have a furniture chest? I don't even know. Armor and vanity. In which case, it's just going to go below in the house. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you for the tips and suggestions you left with regards to Skeletron. To be honest, for the most part, most of you guys pretty much agreed with me in what I said in that uh, I should add some more layers and I should maybe perhaps get some other buffs going, maybe some uh, sunflowers and stuff like that. So yeah, we will be going ahead and retrying Skeletron in today's episode because it will be a good idea. Because not only that, but by accessing the dungeon, we can get ourselves a Muramasa. And then we can go to the jungle, get ourselves a grass blade, and thus create ourselves the Whopping Knight's Edge. That would be awesome. So, where did the... What's he doing up here? What is going on today, man? There's some weird stuff going on. Alright, white team blocks. Got some more food here. We've got some sake. We've got an extendo grip. To be honest, none of this stuff is stuff I need. So, uh, actually, you're a bit pants today, aren't you, son? So, I'm, I'm not going to buy anything from you because I just don't need to. Okay, so. Uh, how are we looking in terms of resources? 252 bits of wood. Uh, I do feel like we should go ahead and grab ourselves a whole ton of buffs. So, we can get over there and get some stuff going. Uh, increases knockback. I don't think that's the case with Skeletron. So, I can go ahead and miss that one. Uh, eh. Vile thorn? Nah, I don't think any of this stuff is going to really be that useful. Okay, so, um, yeah. Iron skin, that's a given. We'll have danger sense. We will have ourselves a thorns potion, of course. We'll have an archery potion, of course, and a shine potion. And I definitely do feel like I should go ahead and see if I can't make myself some other potions. Oh, look at this, man. We can make loads of them. All right. Regen potion. Swiftness potion, abso goddamn loot leaf, featherfall, nah, invis, nah, shine, night owl, yeah, I'll have a night owl potion, because why not, and yeah, that should just about do it, hmm, nice one, nice one, I'm liking it, man, I'm liking it, we've got ourselves a bunch of buffs, okay, now we need to go ahead and see if we have any, like, sunflowers or anything like that, um, perhaps we have some sunflowers just sort of sticking out somewhere, I'm rather hoping there is, actually, because... That would make things considerably easier. I'm looking on the map right now for some sunflowers. Uh, I'm actually not seeing any. In fact, at all. Oh, they're way, way over to the left-hand side ocean biome. Right, well then. We have a bit of a trick to go on, huh? We have to go all the way past the dungeon to the left-hand side ocean to get ourselves some sunflowers. How ridiculous is that? <laughs> Alright, well, let's go. Alrighty guys, here we are at the dungeon, and as you can see, got ourselves a bunch of sunflowers, and there's actually a whole crap ton more further to the left hand side. Hold on, there's a strange plant there, I'm gonna go and pick that up right there. Nice one, and a little bit of the old uh, potion materials, I'll take that as well. Alright, nice one. So yeah, let's keep on going. There is in fact a bunch more sunflowers to our left hand side, I know that because I saw it on the map, there was a, a heck ton of them. So let's just keep going right here. Come on, there we go. I can see the yellow popping under the map right there. There we go. I'm going to pick them all up, basically, because, well, I feel like they're worthy of being picked up. So, yeah. Cool. All right, so uh, whatever the case, I mean, look at all the stuff we've got. We've got a bunch of potion materials, strange plants. We've got buffs galore. And, yeah, things are looking good, my friends. But uh, one thing I actually managed to forget is uh, heart lanterns. So, wait, what? Oh, my God. 
That's the first time I've actually had King Slime spawn on me, like, naturally, without a uh, uh, Slime Rain event. That is legit the first time that's ever happened. That is so cool! <laughs> <laughs> that is so awesome. Hey, 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 Mr. King Slime. What you gonna do, son? You got 2,800 health. Pfft, I got 369. What you gonna do? What you gonna do about it? Oh my lord, there's a lot of guys around here, actually. Holy crap. <laughs> That's so cool, though. I can't believe that, man. I'm pretty sure it's the first time I've ever had him spawn on me without a slime rain event. Anyway, I can't remember a time when that's actually happened before. Okay, he's actually doing a decent amount of damage to me right now. Alright, he's got like 200 health left, and BOOM! Oh mate, you just got destroyed. And now we've got to kill all these little cronies. Alright, uh, uh, there's so many blue slimes. Some of them are spiked. Check it out, they're almost like those uh, jungle spiked slimes, huh? Huh, that's actually kind of cool. Hey buddy, get out of here. There we go. Great way of farming out some gel, that. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at the amount we have now, 150. It's going to be a little bit high right now. There we go, 153. That was a surprise completely. <laughs> I genuinely was not expecting that to happen, but apparently it did anyway. We do have a treasure bag, but we'll open that when we get back to base, because if I open it now, it is probably going to fill up my entire inventory, and I don't really want that. But then again, I've got a money trough. I could just go ahead and put stuff away. And you know what? That's what I'm going to do. This sure is a handy dandy way of getting rid of a bunch of junk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, buddy? Alright, there we go. I'm gonna put the treasure bag there, and we'll put the Skeletron one next to it when I hopefully defeat him. So, yeah. In the meantime, I think what I need to do is I need to head down into the depths of the world and see if I can't find myself a heart crystal and maybe a little bit of lead. So, yeah. Let's head down and see what we can find. Alrighty, guys. While I've managed to find the lead that I need, I didn't manage to find any heart crystals, unfortunately. And and it has pretty much just become night time. I mean, you know, my, you know, my clock says 7pm, but, you know, it only goes by per hour, so that kind of sucks, but, oh well. We are here back at the surface, and yeah, the time hath come, my friends. We need to get back to the dungeon and uh, get ourselves a battle going, because I do believe that the time has come, my friends, because, yeah... It's night, and we need to take him down, because he took us down before, and we can't, we can't have him have that. He's not having that as his victory, you know? You know what I'm saying? You can you just can't allow it. It's not gonna happen. Alright, so I'm gonna put myself another sunflower right there. And then probably one down by the campfire right here. So yeah, we've got some speed buffs. And yeah, I feel I honestly feel like this should do the job. So let's go ahead once again and uh, just dump a bunch of stuff in my piggy bank. And yeah. Let's uh let's buff up, boof, and let's go. Alright, here we go. Do -do 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 -do. I'm really hoping that I'll be able to do it this time because otherwise I'm gonna be a little bit annoyed. All right, come on. I don't. Re I honestly don't remember his hands or any of his attacks. In fact, doing like debuffs. Is that something that was added in later? I have no idea. Maybe I'm behind with the times or something, which you know is entirely possible. Let's be honest. But I don't know, man. I really do think. That his attacks. Oh, hang on. Yeah, look. You can see that bleeding damage, which means my regen is going to be severely, you know, de debuffed. You know, it's going to be less, basically. All right. So uh, I feel like we're doing better already, actually, which is kind of nice. If this blooming zombie could go away. Okay. All we got to do is try and avoid his attacks. It shouldn't be that difficult, hopefully. Ah! No! No! My grappling hook missed. Crap. Okay, come on. What's he looking like now? 5,000 something health? I got a feeling we might be able to do it this time. Come on! Oh man, the cooldown of the Shield of Cthulhu is a little bit too high for my liking! Alright, and health. Come on, man. No, I didn't want to switch to my Flame Orang. No, 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 no. Alright, come on, come on. I got a feeling. Come on. We can do this. Oh, come on. Here he goes with a super quick spin attack. No! Alright, 3,500 health. And we've got 40 seconds to try and last our blooming health out, man. This is actually kind of difficult. Holy crap. I forgot just how annoying the expert mode Skeletron boss is, man. It really is quite something. Come on. Keep that damage going, son. There we go. Back and forth, back and forth. Keep it going. 
Come on, I am mashing my keys right now to try and make things work for me. But I think I'm maybe in a little bit of a rhythm now, which is always nice to see. If I could just keep my rhythm going, then I feel like we should be able to do this. Come on. His hands are nearly done, and he is approaching a thousand health, and I can health again. Nice one, man. Hey, we could actually do this. Okay, although he is shooting a lot quicker now, so got to be super, super careful. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's nearly done, man. He's nearly done. And boom! Yeah, buddy! Oh, yes! Ah, Skeletron, you bot bag. You ain't taking me down this time, buddy. We have two treasure bags to open as a direct result of taking down two bosses. I'm feeling pretty freaking sweet about myself right now, friendos. I really, really am. So let's go ahead and open this thing. Got ourselves a bone glove and Skeletron hand, which actually, to be honest, isn't that great. But, uh, oh well, I digress. Let's move on. Let's get this thing going. We have ourselves a slimy saddle, which is awesome. I'm going to go to put that on, of course. Uh, royal gel, slimes, slimes become friendly. Uh, well, actually, to be honest, I don't really need any of this other stuff. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have access to the dungeon without being killed. So, yeah. What I'd really like to find, personally, is a Muramasa. If I can find a Muramasa and maybe the Cobalt Shield then I will call the episode good. We will, of course, come back to the dungeon probably a little bit later to try and grab the other stuff. But uh, for now, all I want to do is I want to get a Cobalt Shield and probably... What was the other thing I was after? Oh, yeah, the Moe Master, so I can make myself a Knight's Edge. So, yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's head down real quick. Oh, there we go. And let's see about doing this thing. Oh, we got a golden key already. Fantastic, friendos. That's what I really wanted, actually. That's really, really cool. Okay, nice one. There's a lot of spikes about. Holy crap, man. That's pretty crazy. All right, we have ourselves our first chest already. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. It's going to be a shadow key. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm not going to be sad about that one. I will definitely take that. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, wait. Should we go ahead and take off the... Uh, we should take off the water candles as well, huh? That'd be a good idea for making arenas in future. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of exploring through the dungeon. And uh, I'll bring you guys back if I manage to open some more chests up. Well, hello there, little Miss Mechanic. Wire bulb lights up bulbs for each wire color. Ooh, mechanical lens. Grants improved wire vision. Huh. Must be a 1.3.1 thing or some other update since 1.3. <laughs> I don't know, man. Alrighty, well, we're still doing well for ourselves. I mean, we haven't died and stuff. We're just on the hunt for some keys right now. Ah, what? She got killed! Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. Alrighty, guys, let's get ourselves another chest opened, and it's going to be a cobalt shield. Alright, fantastic, man. We've actually got something we need. And also, a uh, tally counter, because why not? Nice one. Oh, hey, check it out. Another dungeon slime. I use one key, I get another. <laughs> That's freaking awesome, man. All right, let's go find some more chests. And, well, actually, there's no need to cut because there's actually two right here. That's really cool. All right, so this time we've got an Aqua Scepter, which is kind of nice. All right, and this one is going to have the Muramasa. Hey, check it out, guys. We're getting all kinds of stuff that we actually want. Nice one. All right, I need to go ahead and chuck away something. I'm going to chuck away the dart traps for now. And, uh, yeah, that should just about do. We've got the Muramasa and a Cobalt Shield, which all, well, for now, is all I really wanted to get. So, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Ah, dang it. So, one of my other NPCs, the merchant, actually wound up dying. And now a gold bunny decides to show up inside my base. <laughs> Such is the way with Terraria, my friends. Good lord above. But anyways, guys, I was just in the process of uh, altering my base just a little bit. I want to move my weapons chest to up in this slot here so I can put myself down an alchemy table because obviously we got that from the dungeon and these things are very, very good for making potions and not using a whole bunch of materials, basically. So I need to go ahead and organize some more things and I'll be back with you guys once everything is organized, I guess. Aha! There we go, my friends. Alchemy table has been placed. The weapons chest has been moved. And I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Uh, is there a place where we could put this little lamp thing, perhaps? I don't even know, man. I might even wind up putting it outside for, like, here. Uh, can I put it like that? Like, no? Can't put it there? Uh, maybe I'll just chuck it here, I guess. I mean, why not? <laughs> 
cool. Oh, Andy, so the final thing I want to do in today's episode, my friends, is I want to push to really... I really want to push to get a nice edge, basically. So we are going to go ahead, head into the jungle. I will be using some battle potions. I should be able to make some, in fact. If I just head up here real quick, I should be able to make some uh, battle potions. And we go. I'm going to make uh, three of them. I feel like that's going to be enough. And I'm also feeling like maybe making some iron skin potions would be a good idea, since it is the jungle. And the jungle is no place to be scoffed at in uh, expert mode. No, not at all. So, let's head over to the jungle, and let's see what's going on there, huh? Alrighty, guys. So, I figured while we're down in the jungle and we wind up founding a bunch of houses, we could just go ahead and uh, pretty much montage all of the stuff we managed to find. So, we're starting off with a cloud and a bottle, which is kind of nice. Oh! Hey, check it out, guys. I just got a whoopee cushion from a worm. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. We can make a fart in a jar now. Yeah! Yeah! I, 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 I'm so mature. I swear. I swear. I'm 21 years old. I'm nearly 22, okay? I, I, I swear. I, I, I don't, I don't think fart jokes are funny or anything. I mean, what do you want about? <laughs> A wooden boomerang? What do you think I am? Brand new? Wait, for real? Another wooden boomerang? <laughs> what? Blowpipe? Okay. Okay, we found ourselves a trident in a water chest. I mean, why not, man? Why the heck not? <laughs> Ooh, a herb bag. Okay, well, at least that's semi-decent. Kind of like that. Nice one. Aha, here we go, my friends. Starting to get a little bit better in terms of loot now. We've got ourselves a boomstick, which is kind of nice. I'll definitely take that. Oh! No! Dang it, man. I was literally just in the process of blooming putting down a campfire so I could, like, regen while I was sat inside a house. But a blooming hornet came and, and pricked me, man. He pricked me. Why you do this? God dang it. All right, well, we're nowhere near getting our objective done, unfortunately. So we're going to have to get back there and get back to, uh, well, you know, poning some butt. So, yeah, let's get it done. Oh, and now there's a slime rain event, huh? Well, God freaking darn. Well, the good news is I'm very, very close to having, you know, grabbed all of my resources. I just need a few more jungle spores, and that will be enough to make myself a grass blade, and thus the Knight's Edge. That's another three. We just need to find one more little cluster. One more little cluster of the good old... Wait, what the heck? An armored compass? Hey, look at this guy. There's a, there's a Dr. Bones here. He's got 1,000 health? What the heck? He's like a mini boss in expert mode. That's crazy. <laughs> what is this guy, man? Come on, dude. Get out of it. I gotta kick your butt. You gotta die, son. There we go. And, oh, yeah, that's everybody dead. Everybody done dead. All right, cool. All right, like I said, we just need to find one more little cluster of the jungle spores, and then we'll be good to go. Alrighty, guys, we got all the materials needed. 25 stingers and 16 jungle spores, even though we only need 12 of each. So here we go. Blade of grass, which means, ladies and gentlemen, we should now be able to make ourselves when we find a demon altar, that is, the Knight's Edge. So, yeah, let's grab the materials, let's get the Knight's Edge made, and let's get this slime rain event done, shall we? Aha! Here we go, my friends! Oh, hello, hello, Devourer, how are you doing, Sonny? All right, here we go, the Knight's Edge. It's a pointy one as well, so we've got 56 damage on it. Nice! That is freaking sweet! I am so, so happy with that, my friends. I really, really am. Okay, so in the meantime, we have ourselves a slime run event to take down. So I need to just, like, quick stack some stuff. Uh, we've got a blue slime banner. I might as well put it up. I mean, we've got no reason not to. I mean, we've got two, two blooming blue slime banners now. What's up with that? I don't know. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get the slime rain event done. And I'll pretty much skip until we get to the King Slime fight, I guess, if we do get one. Oh, King Slime. Don't even know why you bother spawning him, buddy. You are, like, literally the easiest boss to kill in the entire world. All right, here we go. Time to kick some ass. All right, come on, man. Let's let's, let's just get this guy's butt. He doesn't even have a butt. I don't even know, man. I don't know the slime anatomy, but... Oh, well. There we go! Come on, man! This is, this is like the easiest fight ever. I do find it kind of funny how he shrinks as he goes along, though. <laughs> I don't know. I find it kind of hilarious. All right, come on, man! 680 health! You will get destroyed, Sonny! All right, there we go, 450 health. Uh, this guy's almost dead. Mm -hmm. Make that present tense, he is dead. All right, cool. And now to destroy all of his cronies again. Look at the amount of gel we're getting, man. That's crazy. 
Slime has stopped falling from the sky. Quite right, too. There we go. Ah, let's go ahead and uh, open this thing real quick. And it's pretty much, like, no different to what we got before. Okay. But on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to end the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you are excited to see more, do be sure to drop a like rating. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But that's going to wrap it up for today, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode.